How's it going, everybody? Back here again. Another movie review, or better yet, TV show review. So what's going on? I know it's been a while. Uh, so I'm going to be reviewing the show Swarm. Uh, just recently came out, uh, 2023. Uh, I'm going to kind of get my stuff together here because I want to make sure I give you all the right info too. So, but yeah, this is a 2023 show Swarm. Um, it's a dark comedy. Uh, this was uh, created by both uh, Janine Neighbors and Donald Glover. And everybody knows who Donald Glover is. He was a co-writer on this show. He was a producer. Uh, and Janine Neighbors. I don't really know what she did. So that, that name doesn't sound familiar to me. So I'll look at what she directed. Um, what else she's done. Okay, I haven't heard of any of her stuff. Uh, I guess she was a producer on the Watchmen uh, show. Um, she was a she's a, a co-writer on uh, Atlanta with Donald Glover, so they've worked with each other before. Uh, so Swarm uh, came out earlier this year. See the cast: uh, Chloe Bailey's in here. Um, the stars uh, Dominic Fishback, which I, I've seen her before in other stuff and much smaller films. I think she's uh, also in uh, she's uh, she's in the new Transformers film too. So uh, big up for her on that. Um, it's always good to see like these smaller actresses that you you've seen for so long get like these much bigger roles. So that's really cool. Um, this is a show I'm really not hearing a lot about. Uh, so this is basically a show about, uh, about fandom, uh, fandom worship, you know, and how obsessive it can actually get. Um, particularly this one, this one is more of like a satire and it's more of a satire on like the the Beyonce fandom. Because when I first started watching this show, um, I was really interested in it. And it is um, it is an Amazon Prime exclusive. Uh, so when I was uh, when I passed it up, I was like, I don't even know what this is about. Uh, I think I was <laughs> I was lost on the first couple episodes because I was like, I don't. Okay, <laughs> like what's going on, but um, and there's even moments in here where um, there's moments where there's buzzing going on. You're like, what is this? What's going on? Um, until I actually did research on uh, what this was actually supposed to be like a satire on, and I was like, oh, okay, I get it. Uh, you know, it's a satire on. Like, like fandom pretty much like uh, notably the Beyonce fandom uh, because you know they call because you know the fans all the, the Beyonce fans they call them the beehive right so there's a singer in here that Dominic Fishback's character is obsessed with and her name is Nyjah and it's a uh, I just saw his name. Wow, that was Macaulay Culkin's brother in this show. So, yeah, like I said, it's got Dominic Fishback, Chloe Bailey's in it. Uh, uh, and then it said Rory, uh, Rory uh, Culkin. So that's, yeah, uh, Macaulay McCulkin's uh, brother. Macaulay Culkin's brother. So, and, and, and basically it's, I'm sorry, I kind of cut out a little bit there. So, yeah, this is basically like, this is the Swarm. Nyjah's fan base on Twitter and everything, it's called the Swarm. And, uh, you know, Chloe Bailey's in here. She plays Dominic Fishback's uh, character's uh, sister in here. And 
and they both have like this big, this really big obsession with the singer Nyjah, who you know, and this it, she's basically the Beyonce in this world. And the thing about this show that I really like is like, um, I don't think it just it just talks. It, this couldn't just go for Beyonce fan. I know I know I heard Beyonce fans are pretty bad. Uh, when it comes to Beyonce, so much so they literally have like a religion built around her. Like it's literally a whole religion built built around Beyonce, which I think is crazy. Uh, you know, you're you're you know you're worshiping a regular person, you know. <laughs> so, and I I think uh, but I really do like how um, this this show does go to the extreme, but again, it is a satire. So, like, I kind of understood it when it was doing that. Um, and, you know, that's why you hear the bees and things like that, too, uh, to signify the, the swarm. Uh, and, I, and I do like it because the Beyonce Beehive, that's a little cute name for it and everything like that. But when you hear a name like the swarm, that makes it even more crazier sounding. Uh, so, uh, I really like the, I really do like the satire in the show a lot. Um, I think Janine Neighbors and Donald Glover do a really good job with the satire in this. Uh, these are, these are the type of movies I, or shows, movies I usually like. Um, I really do like, like, a lot of dark humor. That's, that's my thing. Because there's some funny episodes in here, too. Like, they're, they're kind of messed up funny episodes, but that's dark humor, you know? Like, it's supposed to be messed up and funny at the same time. Um, and I think it's woven really well in with the story, you know? It, it's not like the dark comedy comes out of nowhere. They set you up and let you know this is a dark comedy. Uh, with a really weird ending, which um, I actually enjoy the ending to this. Um, it's very, it's very open. It's a very open end to ending. Uh, and I'll do, so I, I know I didn't do anything like this on my, sh the other shows and stuff. I might do a spoiler video on this too, and just give you my interpretation of what I think this show is about. Um, because I don't want to spoil too much in this review because I feel like if I bring up certain things or certain plot points throughout each episode, um, it's going to give away so much. Uh, I, I think this is a really underrated show because I don't really hear anybody talking about it. Uh, like I said, I've seen it. I've seen it on Amazon Prime. Uh, I think all the actors do a really good job in here. Um, Dominic Fishback's character, something really tragic happens to her in the show. Her character, and, you know, she's going through a lot of trauma and... You know, she she's acting out that trauma uh, to the point to where it's it's it becomes a really disturbing obsession. Um, it gets disturbing. Like I, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. There are some really disturbing moments in this, this show uh, that I really enjoyed uh, thoroughly, and they do a very good job of it. Uh, there's a there's an episode where she's with some strippers. And it's it's so funny, like it's it's hilarious. Uh, that that episode was probably one of my favorite episodes. That and uh, it was that episode, and it was the episode with uh, where she goes to the uh, she goes she goes to like this uh, this cult, and it's funny too. Like a lot of it's like really funny, but like I said, but it's kind of disturbing too. Uh, yeah, I, I, and again, all the actors are good in here. Um, I like Chloe Bailey in here. I really like Dominic Fishback. I always like Dominic Fishback. She's just good in everything that I see her in. Um, I never really seen Chloe Bailey acting much. I know her. Um, I know her sister. Is it her sister that that played the Little Mermaid? Um, I never saw the little the new Little Mermaid the remake, uh, but I do plan to watch it and review that too. But She's really good in this. Um, I think everybody's good in this too. Um, the the woman who plays uh, Nyjah is really good in here. Um, all your supporting cast. Uh, like I said, it's when you watch it, 
it is it is a little over the top, but it's meant to again, it's meant to be a satire. Uh it's it's meant to be like a drama and it's but it's like a satire at the same time. Because uh, there were moments where I was I was really laughing, uh, I was laughing pretty hard. Uh, but it, like I said, it does go to disturbing territory. Uh, there's a lot of imagery in here, uh, and there's there's like there are, there are maybe some parts in here that are confusing. But like once I kind of understood what the whole show was about. I kind of kept that in mind. I was like, oh, okay. That's why that's happening. That's why this is happening. Um, it's, no, this show's amazing. I like this show a lot. Uh, and I never saw Atlanta, but if this is what he does, Donald Glover, I got to see Atlanta. Uh, this is making me want to see Atlanta. Because, uh, like, th this show... This might be a little darker, like I said, or might be a little bit more violent and everything, because this is a violent show. It's not, it's not like super violent, but there are some like some moments where it's just you're like, whoa. Um, yeah, the part where she's like dancing and, and mopping up the blood. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's a crazy show. Um, it's only seven episodes, and they're all like a half an hour long, so they're not that long. The, the episodes you just get to the point and then move on to the next episode um so there's not a moment wasted in here there's always something crazy happening uh and again it's one of those endings where it opens up for, for interpretation and I'm going to do another video where I spoil this show I'm definitely going to spoil uh so if you don't want to see that spoiler review first it'll it'll come up today too so um it'll be today or tomorrow it'll come up but um, just skip the spoiler and go watch the show if you want to go see it, if you have Amazon Prime. Uh, like I said, because I, I, I think like a lot of the episodes, I'm going to go, I'm going to probably go episode by episode and, and, and just tell you what happens in each episode and then I'll tell, and then I'll give away the ending too and tell you what I think the ending was about. But, uh, this is a really clever, this is a really creative show. Um, there's an episode that got me. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm going to give it to you in spoilers. It, there's an episode that got me too because it, I, I can't say it here. I can't say it. I'm just going to say there's an episode that tricked me. And I was like, wait, what? I was like, is that? And it had me like Googling stuff like, is that for real? The, the, yeah, this show is really good, man. I, I love the creativity. Um, this is one of the most unique shows I've seen uh, this year. Uh, this is extremely unique. It's really good. Um, it's gripping. And every episode makes you want to go to the next one. It's it's so good. Uh, this is a high recommend for me. This is definitely a high recommend. Uh, definitely check this one out. Like it, I say it's... it's it's really underrated, and I don't really... I was going through YouTube. I don't really see too many of the bigger channels talking about this show. But this show is really good. Um, and maybe somewhere down the line, I'll watch it again. I say it's short. It, they're all half an hour episodes. And they're seven minutes long. So, they, so every episode gets to the point. This show just gets right to the point. No fluff, no filler. It does what it does. It goes to the next episode. And it ends really well too. So, yeah, high high recommend everybody. Uh, this one's a winner right here. I love this show. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna check it out. Uh, if you saw the show, you know, did you did you like it? Um, do you think I'm crazy? And you think this show is crazy? You don't know what I'm talking about. Um, definitely go ahead and comment. You know, just let me know what you thought about it. And um, I I will see you on the next episode. Our next, uh, yeah, the next video or whatever. All right, peace.